Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tech Air. AMD just confirmed the new chip, the Ryzen 5 7500X 3D, and it is targeting budget gamers who want top tier 3D V cache performance. I've already covered the leak news a few days back, but today I'm gonna talk about official specs, price, and comparison. So let's get into it. The Ryzen 5 7500X 3D official launches at 269 USD, which translates about 279 euros and 245 pounds in UK. The bigger brother 7600X 3D's official MSRP was $300. So 7500X 3D is AMD's most affordable X3D chip yet. Now let's talk about the specs. This CPU pack 6 core 12 thread built on Gen 4 architecture. You get 6 MB of L2 cache and total of 96 MB of L3 cache. There's 32 MB of die plus 64 MB of 3D V cache. Similar to his bigger brother, total 102 MB of cache. Clock speed come little lower than earlier leaks suggested. We are looking at 4 GHz base clock and 4.5 GHz boost clock with 65W TDP. It is super power efficient, easy to cool and doesn't need high wattage PSU. Compared to AMD's high-end X3D models, you do lose a bit clock speed and 2 cores. The 7500X3D runs 500 MHz lower than the 7800X3D and 700 MHz lower than the 9800X3D. AMD has previously released another 6-core X3D CPU, the Ryzen 5 7600X3D was limited to selected retail and market. The 7600X3D on the other hand is a global release. So that's a pretty good news. AMD is positioning this chip directly against Intel's mid-range gaming CPUs, specifically the Core i14600K and the Core Alta 5 245KF. The i5 is selling around $210 and the Core Alta 5 is around $230. So both processors are cheaper than 7500X 3D. But according to AMD's own internal benchmark, the Ryzen 5 75X CD beats the Core Ultra 5 245K by an average of 22% in 10 competitive titles at 1080p high-end setting. The biggest win comes in PUBG, where AMD claims a massive 42% performance lead. In a set of 23 poly titles, 7500X 3D leads on average up to 34% in Borderlands 3 and Elder's Ring compared to Intel's 245KF. Against the Core i5-14600K, the gap is smaller, but still noticeable. AMD reports an average 12% lead in competitive games and 8% in AAA title at 1080p high-end setting. I will give full information in the description so you can go and check it out. One thing I must mention that it is an AM5 chip, so you need a M5 motherboard to use it. So overall, the Ryzen 5 7500X3D brings a strong mix of gaming performance, efficiency, and affordability. It trades a bit of clock speed and core count for a massive cache advantage, which, as we have seen before, can make a huge difference in gaming frame rates. With reviews already popping up across the Europe, the 7500X3D looks like AMD's most balanced gaming CPU for 1080p gaming, who want top tier FPS without breaking their bank. If you're building an AM5 rig and you care about gaming over productivity, this might be a sweet spot. So that's it for today. Let me know your thought in the comment and if you haven't subscribed yet, then subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.